what is going on with the range of the Gen 4 Levo with its 840 watt hour battery. A few people have complained to me that the range is about the same as their 700 watt hour battery. And I'm like, hmm, warrant some investigation. And I have three reasons why this might be happening to you and how you can control it. All right, FC here from EMTBR and this Levo Gen 4, fascinating bike for sure, 800 40 watt hour battery compared to the old one with 700 watt hours more power as well you know 720 watts uh, and compared to 600 on the gen 3 and then the non s works is 666 watts so more power any way you look at it initially i dismissed my friends said hey more power is more responsibility you need more battery because you have a lot more power uh, but then there's actually more layers to this dilemma than that because a lot of these folks they're not using all the power they're not using turbo mode they're just on eco and they're seeing less range you know they're doing the same uh, loop and same effort as uh, they did with a gen 3 and they're finding their battery level is the same or even lower and i'm like okay that warrants some investigation okay so three reasons like i said so the first reason the obvious one is we have more power so we have 700 20 watts of power we have more torque so you know when you uh, tap into that power it's going to use up more of the battery you're not going to see more range all right reason number two and this is what this video really is about and this is this is fascinating when i dug into it i'm like ah that explains it okay so what's happening is the levo gen 4 is a lot more powerful a lot more supportive has a lot of uh really tunable things at every level of uh boost setting you know eco trail uh, boost have more power than the gen 3 and let me show you what's going on and the great news is they're all tunable but the default settings are pretty high okay so we know what i'm talking about is you know when you get everyone who gets on a gen 4 levo and when they they just on eco they pedal and they're like whoa nice you know really it feels light because Specialized figured out that with more support comes a better experience. The bike feels light because on a little tap, it just accelerates you quite a bit and then it kind of backs off. So that's how the gen, that's the secret sauce to the Gen 4. But let me show you the parameters uh, that control that. So to get on settings, we have another camera here. I hope to overlay it. Is um, I go up on the joystick and then hit the down button, the minus button, I believe. And after about three seconds, you get the settings screen on here. And uh, we want to go down language, pair sensors, motor tune. Motor tune is where all the magic is. So you can do this with your app, but really the fact that they let you do this with a screen, you just got to master this joystick. Uh, to enter is to push down on that joystick. And we'll see me doing that, but pretty subtle. So push down on motor tune. Eco is 3535. Trail is 6100. Turbo is 100, 100, okay? So that's pretty cool, right? So the first setting I got to show you is this thing called shuttle. So shuttle is an override on all settings, eco, trail, and boost to say, hey, uh, sh shuttle means I'm going to move the whole curve that, you know, the rider set, and I'm just going to make it easy. As long as he's spinning the RPM, I'm going to give him the boost. Okay, so shuttle, when I look at it, low, medium, and high. Okay, so right here is your cheat code. And this is costing you energy. And I believe the default setting is low. Okay. So uh, I don't think you really want this. Uh, you want this off unless it's a special situation because you already set your assist modes, you, you know, your, your assist levels using Eco Trail Boost, you know, tuning. Okay. So turning that to off will save you battery. Okay. The next thing, and this is, I think, the most important one is responsiveness. Responsiveness is, you know, that thing I described, you get on the pedal and then boom, it just kind of takes off on you. Even though you're in eco mode, it just, the default setting is medium. It's medium responsive. It makes you look good. It makes you, it lets you start up a hill a little, a little faster, a little easier. So, uh, and, uh, and then it, and then it kind of backs off. But then this really costs energy. When you are accelerating from zero, you know, to, to five miles an hour, that's torque. 
torque is what changes your speed and this right here is costing you probably the number one culprit in my opinion on why the range of the gen 4 you know doesn't quite speak to its 840 watt hour battery so you can tune this to to slow uh, there's no way to to turn it off slow medium high, fast and the next one we'll look at is overrun so overrun uh, is when you stop pedaling how much more will the motor keep going okay so that's overrun and it's set to default it's got some default overrun uh, and that is not present in the gen 3 levo so this is costing you battery right here now you could put it to minimum or you could put it to max uh, but at the default setting it is costing you more energy than other bikes it's kind of a the wave of the future it rounds out your your pedal stroke but every time you're not pedaling and the motor is going that costs you watt hours of energy okay so this you can uh, turn to minimum you have a bike that's a little more responsive you know if you're pedaling in squares you'll feel it a little more but um, you know if you want to increase your range uh, then uh, or, or have kind of apples to apples comparison with a gen 3 you know you put this to minimum all right the next thing i'll talk about is auto mode so auto mode is the new <laughs> darling of the gen 4 levo and it's of all e-bikes out there you know auto mode means you don't have to shift modes anymore no more eco trail boost you know you you shift your derailleur less because your bike is going to go from eco to turbo on its own okay so like pretty good right all right so but if you're in auto mode uh, you have to realize that it's going to turbo uh, when you're when you're working hard when you're when you're speeding up so and it's kind of hard to work hard on on auto mode because it kind of matches your effort and it it it, comp it kind of compensates for your effort and you you really can't push uh the the uh the pedals that hard because it goes on turbo on its own so what you could do with auto mode uh is you could uh, if you're using it one if you don't if you want to enhance optimize your battery usage don't use auto mode uh, but if you want to use it because it, it is a nice mode you know just put it to auto minus so back it off a little bit back off auto shift that whole you know exponential curve of auto mode uh down a little bit so you are required to work a little bit more the third reason why this seems to have you know similar range to a, a, a gen 3 is because when you're looking at the meter you're not exactly comparing apples to apples you know how you're gen 3 uh, it's all good right when you're 100 percent 80 percent 60 percent but when you're at 20 percent uh, you get you get throttled down big time and then when you're at 10 percent you'll get almost nothing all right on the gen 4 it's pretty darn linear you know you can bleed this down to one percent battery and you're still it's still going to pull you on kind of a trail turbo mode okay so 20 percent on the uh, gen 4 is not the same as a 20 percent on a gen 3 you have a lot more kind of assist on the gen 4 so right there i hope that explains that the gen 4 uh, really just pushes you quite a bit more than the gen 3 motor uh, and it does it with its bigger battery but if you want to kind of explore do an 8,000 foot ride then you play with these settings uh, and uh, really optimize it to your style all right thanks a ton everybody